Hey back, here's that for Crasher video I said I would do. A uh, simple sourdough mix. Start by putting the water in the bowl, 360 mils of water. Room temperature. Then we'll put in 12 mils of oil. I'm using the olive oil. Then we'll put in the starter, which is 160 grams of ready to go starter. So I fed it the night before. It's doubled in size. It's ripe and floats very well. But we're not going to use a mixer today, we'll do it by hand. So it's the last of the starter going in. And then we're just going to give that a mix up with the spoon just to disperse that starter right through it all. Every time I'm mixing, It'll be in real time, so how long you see it on the screen is how long it takes me to mix it. I'll cut out other bits and pieces here and there, but obviously the rest times, but all the mixing will be the time you see it takes me on there. So that's it, we just dissolve the starter all through it, back on the scales to put the flour in. So 460 of flour, and then 12 of salt. Once we've got that in, we'll start our first mix. We'll start with the spoon. So this whole first mix will be just with the spoon. It's sloppy enough to be able to do that. Now that it's all come together, we're just about finished that first mix. We just scrape down the, the sides of the bowl and then we're going to cover it and, as usual, leave it for um, 30 minutes. We'll come back to it then and give it another good mix with our hand this time. It'll, you'll see the difference in it. It'll come together, be a lot more elastic. So that's it. As always, cover it up and we'll come back in 30 minutes. So here we are. The flowers absorb the water, starting to develop the proteins, and we're going to give it a good, a good solid mixing with our hand. I'm using a bit of water because it is quite sticky. You don't want lots of water, just a little bit to get going. Yep. And then give it a good vigorous mix.
it's looking good now so we will scrape it down I feel it feels more like a dough now it's all come together nicely still sticky still sticky cover it up and we'll leave it for 30 minutes now the 30 minutes is up I'm going to move it into my container that I do my folds in and this is the first fold first set of folds it is still sticky as you can see got some water on my hands and we'll cover it up leave it for 30 minutes 30 minutes is gone we'll come back we'll give it our second set of folds we're going to do three sets in total see it's much it's smoother dough now and we'll cover it up and leave it for another 30 minutes and we'll come back and do our third set of folds third and final once we've done this one we will put it into the container we're baking them in i'm doing it in a a fry pan without the the handle it's non-stick but i am putting some paper in there as well um, just to make sure scrape it all in cover it up and then leave it to double in size you can stick it in the fridge if you're going to use it tomorrow i'm going to bake mine later today so i've left it out it took about three and a half hours to double in size again it depends on the temperature of everything uh, drizzle olive oil on top once it's doubled in size and then poking it with your fingers to get the divots in it if you use um, garlic infused olive oil or garlic and onion infused olive oil it is um, much tastier i didn't have any and toppings whatever you want i'm using olives then cherry tomatoes um some jalapenos some fresh rosemary and um some basil out of a tube i did have some sun-dried tomatoes there and i just realized they never made it onto the top so i don't know what happened there the oven is preheating obviously up to 230 degrees celsius i'm going to put the pizza tray on top of mine stick it in the oven for about 10 minutes with the lid on then take the lid off leave it in till it's golden it's about another 15 18 minutes and it came out all nice and golden stuck the thermometer in it was over 97 so that was good and then left it on the uh, cooling wire to cool and then there we have our focaccia looking good take care ciao